Okay, so for Cancer Ascendance, Cancer Rising, or if you have your Cancer in the first house. Now, Cancer is ruled by the Moon. So, you know, uh, they can be very emotional, very sensitive, and intuitive all at the same time. When it comes to appearances, um, they can gain weight. They can easily gain weight. Also, you can see that their cheeks are can be on the wide side it's their face shape are quite circular um their cheekbones are very prominent like when they smile you instantly see their cheekbones and like it feels like their eyes and their cheeks are are you know talking to you expressing something to you and you will just find them really charming really really sweet and adorable all at the same time they can um, they can easily gain weight though because this is the moon that we're talking about. Um, the moon is not just um, it's not just the area of Cancer, but it's also the area of Pisces. So um, it, it's easy for them to absorb things. You know, they can be really a, an empath, a psychic person, that kind of thing. So unless they protect themselves. Um, psychically they can you know feel a lot of things sometimes they are feeling things that is not within even in their own energy they're probably just absorbing the surroundings and the energy that is around them that is uh, a huge possibility as well um, also um, they can have you know prominent breasts I've noticed that this is not always the case though it is a possibility but not always the case um, because cancer rules the breast so unless that they have a very very strong first house and probably if it's lining up with their 10th house probably then maybe something can become prominent in them either in their face or in their breasts that kind of thing also um, in a very surprising way they can be very engaging with their work okay um, cancer rising people can be very much you know can can do hard work they you know they don't hate routines in fact you know the things that they do repetitively in terms of their work they value that you know they see importance in that in fact work is actually one of the most important thing for them um, and the more acknowledgement that they gain the more that they gain from their work the more that they earn money the more that they they have all of these benefits in life the more um, confident that they become the more successful they are the more confident that they become and you know that is where that is where they have a lot of energy in they can earn a huge amount of money actually so um yeah even though that you know a lot of cases that cancer rising people have a hard time to know what job or work they should do they can get lost in that thought like I don't know what to do in life they have their Pisces in the ninth house um, it's like you know I wanted to do something I just don't know what I want to achieve something I want to know something uh, they can be quite scattered you know it's like there is blurriness and vagueness in terms of what they want to want to do what what they want to achieve in their life but once they are able to find their own voc vocation once they have found out what they really wanted to um to manifest or what they what career they want to have in their life want to what career they want to pursue they you know once they have a clear idea on that they can really you know work hard on that area single-mindedly and you know they can really be acknowledged with whatever work that they do they can be really really famous as well we do have a lot of famous people in cancer rising which i will mention later on on the video 
Also, um, another surprising fact is that they can actually become very um, practical minded. The thing with um, cancer raising people is that the way that they communicate with you can be very practical, but what is going on inside of them is the different part. It's like they don't easily express things that they really think or they really feel. It's, you know, they can be feeling a whole lot of things, but they're never gonna tell that to you. The ones that they are going to tell you and express to you are what they think in a practical sense because they have third house in Virgo. So they can be, you know, very critical, very practical, and detail oriented. In terms of how they speak also because of that they are not the type of people that will initiate contact you're the one who's probably you know other people is probably the one that needs to initiate some form of contact to them and um, cancer is the crap so you know you, you need to they need some form of time and adjustment phase before you know they come out of their shell so you will also notice that you know it's not easy for them to um, to bloom or to do something. It they're quite slow, and it takes them quite a bit of time. They need to protect themselves. So if they are going to be risking something, if they know that they're about to go out of their comfort zone. Um, they're, they would like to avoid that. They would rather do nothing than go out of their comfort zone. So it, it's not easy for them to, to adapt to changes. It takes time. Also, they can have a lot of thoughts coming in, in, in their mind, but they're never going to express that. Um, that's because probably they have um, Gemini in their 12th house. So there could be a lot of thoughts in their mind, you know, could be a huge number of information coming in their mind, whether that is true, whether or not, you know, it could be true information, it could be just a panic attack, or it could be, you know, something that they made up on their mind. Either of those things are all inside of them, and they may or may not be expressing this to you. And that's clearly why um, to communicate with someone, to bond with someone, to be with someone is very important to them. And speaking of being with someone, they have Scorpio in their fifth house. So this is the reason why they are very passionate in terms of their emotions, in terms of their love life. They are very childlike people as well, even with how they are with their work routines. They can, you know, they can be very changeable with every aspect of things. Um, they have a lot of mood swings all at the same time. So, you know, it's really hard to take a grasp on a cancer rising person. Especially once they become very emotional. So with their fifth house and the sign of Scorpio, they really expect a lot to their partner. Also, they desire partnership, they expect a lot from partnerships, which can create some form of trouble because they're quite serious in that. Very rarely that they would like to just have some fun. Most of the time, they want something very serious out of the bat, immediately. And speaking of immediately, you know, cancer rising people are easily... Um, Easily give up on things, especially if don't they don't see some form of results. So, relationship wise, career wise, this is going to be the problem for those that are in the Cancer Rising because when they do something, they want to see an immediate result, and once they don't see that, they can um, either lose interest or they can feel very down and feeling depressed. And feeling that they shouldn't continue what they were doing and just shift in a way to another another topic, another issue, another scenario, or whatever it might be. So um, 
yeah they expect a lot from partnerships and that can create troubles right also they have their seventh house in the sign of capricorn so um ideally what this makes is that they can be um really 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 good partner like you can expect a lot from them they're re very responsible they're there is something about duty and responsibility in terms of how they relate with a partner. All at the same time, because this is, you know, a Saturn energy in their seventh house, um, there could be cases wherein they can get married late or um, at the early part of their life, they will have a hard time to find someone that can suit them. There could be delays and restrictions in that end, but um, it gets better as they grow up, as they grow old, especially after a Saturn return, you know, things, you, they learn from mistakes. They learn from being, from controlling their emotions to being, you know, more logical, more practical even though that that emotions is still going to be in their energy so they they can have a more stable loving partner once they grow grow up it's just that it doesn't come easy also they don't um they don't try to find people to be with them that kind of thing because you know it's not easy for them to open up with people so it always takes time everything about cancer rising people always takes time changes are not easily to adapt with i mean imagine a crab can you imagine a, cra a crab going diagonal or something like that it's not easy there is just something that um they cannot do in that area you know they can walk sideways though they can definitely reach their goal but it takes time you know they have their own methods and how to reach that goal that diagonal goal also it's better to not push a, a cancer especially you know don't rush them don't push them because they're they're not gonna do it you know everything happens in their own pace everything happens in their own pace and it just takes time there are the most loving people though they can be very you know they can really treasure their family a lot you know they're very diplomatic in that they they are very engaging so you can see a lot of cancer rising people very, the most romantic the most emotional um, empathic and they have this sense of care that they want to share to everyone around the world as well not just with their family but you know that is their home space that is really what they are you know actively engaged in if there is something that they're actively engaging in that is you know something to do with their private life to their home life and their family sometimes um cancer rising people um their goal in life is to have a family to be a housewife you know that is um not always the case but sometimes it happens so um yeah also um there are chances that crisis situation can sun suddenly happen in their life um, it can happen quite suddenly and once it th once it does happen you know they might feel like everything is falling apart you know they're too shocked about one thing to a point wherein they think that other areas of their life are also falling apart you know they can be quite negative in that sense and that is probably because you know their eighth house is going to be around that aquarius area so being ruled by uranus they might feel like it's an overall transformation creating a lot of shock a lot of 
you know uh, traumatic experiences for them the, it might not essentially but the case but sometimes they can exaggerate that as the case so um yeah when it comes to um you know sometimes as well that their beliefs in life don't easily change you know and the connections they make they can be the type of people that you can be with for the long haul whether it's for friendship or or love you know um there is a sense of loyalty in them and that is something that you can really be proud of and really appreciate to cancer rising people now for our celebrities um the number one that i have here with me is angelina jolie and you know there's really something beautiful about her something really draws makes people draw to her you know it's like you know cancer rising is the moon so when the moon shines you really see them you really they make an impression they make that um they leave an impression that strikes a person it's like they capture your heart or something like that and you'll notice that the celebrities i'm gonna mention to you guys are ones that are you know that always leaves an impression to everyone so regardless if that is good or bad okay so we also have julia roberts another one that is very known well known um her son her son is in scorpio as well Angelina Jolie has a son in Gemini and but her moon and her tent house is in Aries so uh, the, the MC or the tent house is what how other people see her so you can see that there is also an element of Aries like energy in her also with the forehead you can see that in Angelina Jolie as well Bill Gates and Kanye West is also uh, a cancer rising so as a man with massive wealth you know um also all of these people have prominent cheeks area you know either their cheekbones or your their cheek places that kind of thing or they can be quite um bulky in terms of their their chest area or something Cameron Diaz is also another one who is a ca cancer rising person and you can you can just see take a look at her face um, her cheekbones and her, her eyes it's like you know they are speaking to you all the time and she is very sweet like the moon Adele is another one with a cancer rising person and we all know Adele her voice really shocked the world with a whole, you know everyone just know about her her songs and with the case of Adele um she's more of the on the plump side but this is not just because of the cancer rising alone this is also because that her MC is in Pisces and then her son is in Taurus so she gets that energy of you know um of bulkiness in her also i believe that there is some form of sagittarius in either her moon or something i forgot uh but i do know that there were there were a lot of cases for adele like um either her her son moon ascendant or mc has a lot of plumpness so you can see her very plump and all that but the cancer rising effects on her is very seen with her cheeks cheekbones as well and her eyes you know as if everything on her photos on her songs are speaking to you to the core especially you also have tyre banks over here tyre banks is another popular um celebrity icon that we all know and you all know that you know Tyra Banks has a lot of curves in her you know her eyes her cheeks are just speaking to you also I do believe that um, her hips and breasts 
are prominent. With her, she also has the sun in Sagittarius, so that adds some form of plump energy to her, to her especially with the hip area. So, um, yeah, this is my Cancer Rising in the first house um, video. I hope you guys enjoy this and let me know what you think if you have your Cancer Rising. I'd love to know what, um, how this um, information has helped you or uh, relate to you. So, um, yeah, if you'd like more videos like this, please do like, share, and subscribe to the video. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified on my next few videos on this series as well. Thank you.